install the j7 2016 stock play rooted rom with mods version 2 okay so let's get started booting to tdp with home button volume up button and this power key at same time release it when the logo comes or you get a hefty feedback so go to team win so here too and you need to uh, vote it safely so go to buy factory reset it first it will fail again format data so first format data all here including data of the data okay so if it shows successful now go and factory reset i know this is insane now you can go and have all the data cleared because this round do not support the data mounting and this samsung encrypt has not been yet uh, successfully removed by any developers but uh, the a5 2017 rom for this which i will be posting soon has the data encryption deleted or removed now you can select the uh, micro sd card and you can select the rom the same rom but with mod different mod so go to add on version 2 and reboot after installation so let's try to confirm it so wait until the information is given in the footer can see the status of the ROM we put in here it will take one or two minutes usually not more than that so let's extract the system here and more ROM features are added in this Evo Grace UI, but some apps don't get the UI of Evo Grace. And I will be posting the version 3 of this ROM, which is in a beta version, and added some new features and bug fixes soon. Support this video, like this video, and comment if any issues. So it's done installing now the mod the mod version to have the grace ux in some apps Means the icons are changed and there are still some bugs which i will explain so i will just quickly have the review of the rom okay so let it boot up so here you get the white boot logo and it's wonderful but it's not that good it's, a, it's from the note 7 okay i was showing this only for you the new thing white boot the phone just got booted up and i skipped the setup wizard and now let's see what is changed so we get the note 7 launcher version 2 here and see so it's a to z grid and so all the icons are erased except the camera <laughs> i don't know what so messages you get the new icon gallery also you get a new gallery and calendar get this one calendar from the note 7 so this some few apps are not changed but are graced so these icons are graced and the internet too okay i think the s bike mode is removed so this bike mode is removed in this version for those who don't want the s bike mode please uh, install this version download the files here in the description and we have the wallpapers and themes separate settings are some different here we see the smart manager you can see the new smart manager here and save power of apps when you install it
and you can free up space here you can go to device security and scan it it's sec secure you can also get the ram usage so let's see how many ram it saves previous version was saving uh, 900 mb ram and this is saving 1 gb after a first boot and clean so this is awesome and we still have the annoying briefing here for those who want it's okay the want this disable and install titanium backup and delete that and camera UI is same so the camera UI is same and you can get this different modes you can get this swipe to your gallery and then we can see the front camera also here so this is good you get the S voice, S translator the snap its card, some extra apps if you don't want that just disable them or delete them you get Samsung Note 7 and Memo both and here Samsung Focus uh, in the Samsung Focus you can add add your extra gmail account ok so we have to follow permissions So I don't have permissions like this. Then go back to extra sign in. You can add notes for this, and you can have many more in the options. You can get this and some focus. So going to settings to about device, and here we can see the software info. Kernel is I think same, and uh, still not permissive. The Android status is enforcing as. We have it. So it's the September 1 patch which is deep loaded. APK6 this version here, yeah, the September version. Still have the Android version 6.1 marshmallow inside here. So no port of a no gut planned by the developers yet. Okay and for some safe use you have to disable this. And some security warnings will also come afterwards. Like this here because the Nox is active and you need to go to the developer options while using the ROM if you have added the gmail account you need to go to developer options and allow OEM unlock until that so you get a new email email here email which is crashed and it's very good so new gallery new launcher new messages new calendar too new music app uh, but now it's updated more can also get the milk music which is good too far and you also get uh, yeah the ultra power saving mode which is a new one saved by the developer let's see it says note 7 ultra power saving mode and the floating messages have been skipped yeah you can see some ui changes in this ultra power saving mode other uh, same and here you can see can add now more apps two more apps we'll turn this off and you the app lock too so app lock is added let's see what is it so enter here app lock okay app lock privacy and safety you can get this here oh shit let's go to settings and you scroll down to privacy and safety and here's the app lock and you can directly add lock apps so fingerprint it will stop see the ui will stop so don't do this Let's see settings will stop again if you open you can set a pattern like this straight away pattern let's see how the fingerprint works i will uh, calendar chrome and contacts scale sorry not email calendar and if we put this okay well working well chrome tags so if you do this oh very good so the animation is also very good for this and i have chrome too so okay all the lock tabs are working and it's very good 
so this rom is for those ui testers let's see about the wallpapers what is changed okay so two more wallpapers also added those are the notes and wallpapers okay i love this one because black color is more in it and you can save some battery with this wallpaper okay so lock screen animation also very fast so these are the minor changes in here and very big changes also and the other bugs are fixed like the screen overlay and when you move the gallery apps sorry the galaxy apps are also fixed when it when stop while you are updating your galaxy apps so this was also a fine tutorial here and you have removed that thing okay it will auto update so it's very nice the screen overlay bug is also fixed you can also add the auto backup option here uh, in the settings you can add the backup account and everything will be auto backup so it's very good for users and this rom is also uh, and for this rom because the data encryption samsung encryption which is not yet removed by the developers so i wish it's removed in the next versions i don't think he will add this versions more add-ons so he is working on the a5 2017 port for the galaxy j 16 of which video i'll be posting soon and please for subscribe not follow please subscribe and like this video uh, only if you help me only if you found this helpful and so please comment if you have any issues and please let me tell at my email address okay goodbye